Team Fluttershy. I'm sure you remember us. There's a matter of great importance that we must speak to you right away and... Oh, I was sure I'd seen the Princess's shadow here. Though a shadow I may be, I assure you, I belong to no princess. is all sober and new can't wait to see what our future has in store don't wanna wait anymore to boredom we say goodbye we have limits that we should defy possibilities endless the sky it's not difficult to show we care we've got plenty of kindness to share couldn't compare So here we go It's time Let the adventure begin Oh, oh, oh Friendship through thick and a thin Oh, oh, oh Let the adventure begin Oh, oh, oh So here we go Let the adventure begin Friendship through thick and a thin Let the adventure begin to be this way, Luna. Come quietly and spare yourself the humiliation of defeat. You cannot humiliate us any more so than you have already. We will not hesitate to banish you from us. So be it then. Luna. Out of my way! Uh oh, dead end. What about Princess Luna? It doesn't look like she's gonna last too long on her own like that. We've gotta help her. Is my tail twitching? 
Rainbow, Applejack, can you get that fallen banner there? I'll try to draw the monster over here that you two can trip it. Pinky, Spike, and Fluttershy try to get his attention away from the princess long enough for me to get to her. Rarity, keep an eye on Trixie. Don't let her get away. On it! Let's go. She's not going anywhere. Come now, princess. Is that all you've got? I'm disappointed. You know not of the power we wield. <laughs> on the contrary, I know all too well. Yield, Luna, or you will leave me no choice. Crawl back to the shadows from whence ye came. Ye will never conquer the Princess of the Night! <sighs> She's right. It went right through twice if it didn't even know she was there. Uh, of course I'm right. I could have been killed. What did you ponies do? It wasn't us. Wait, Rarity and Fluttershy, where did you say he came from? Princess Luna's room. It was just waiting in there when we got there. You think it was waiting for Luna all along? He wasn't interested in any pony else. Except... Trixie. All right, Trixie, start talking. I already told you, I have no idea. Look, I know I'm not your favorite pony at the moment, but I honestly had nothing to do with this beast thing. Besides, you're all going to need me alive because I'm the only one who knows how to change you back to normal. I am not going to let you lose, I mean, ponies. Leave me here to die! So you do know how to reverse this spell? Uh, of course I do. Uh, but I'll need the gem to do that. Do we have it with us? No, I hid it back in the library for safekeeping. The library in Ponyville? Well then, you're just gonna have to take me to Ponyville with you. No way. We cannot possibly be considering allowing her to come with us. But what about Princess Luna? I... I don't know. We need to get her back, but... Where can we look? Um, hello? I'd like to get as far away from here as possible. Thank you very much. That thing is going to come back for me, remember? We should just let it. <sighs> okay. We'll reverse this spell first, and then go find Luna. I'll be better equipped to handle that monster with my own magic. Trixie, you can come along, but only... Hey, 
Is this really necessary? It's not like I'm going to try and run away. I'm not letting you ponies out of my sight while that thing is still out there. Thanks, Pinky, but I don't think we'll be able to walk out of the castle like that. Every pony still thinks she's me, and seeing Princess Twilight in chains will only cause more trouble than it's worth. We'll have to pretend she's me. You can't be serious! Oh, sugar cube. Nope, can't do it! Not after everything she's done! I don't trust her! I'm right here, you know. I can hear everything you're saying. It's not like I'm going to try and do anything stupid. Neither do I. But all we can do is keep a close eye on her. And keep her in line. Seriously, guys? I'm right here! And you got all of us to back you up. I doubt Trixie can take us on seven to one. Thank you, girls. Do we have to ride in coach? It's so common. Ugh, just get a move on, Trixie. Uh, excuse me, Apple Peasant. I'm supposed to be Princess Twilight, remember? It's just us now, Trixie. Give it a rest. Ouch! You don't need to push. So, uh, let me get this straight. You want me to what? Look after Canterlot for you while you're away? No. I just want you to stay out of trouble. <sighs> Can you handle that? <laughs> me? Trouble? We're counting on you to keep the pony safe, Discord. We don't know if that scary monster is going to come back while we're gone. And you're the only pony who stands a chance against it. Ah, yes. I will be the champion of the ponies. The knight in glimmering armor. Prepare to storm the castle on my noble steed. Rescue the damsel and save the day. Ugh. Just don't make me regret trusting you, Discord. So long, my friends. Equestria is in safe paw and claw. Don't you think the sky could use a good makeover? Uh, like some tech color snow. Uh, maybe some... Don't even think about it, Discord! Uh, figures and party pooper ponies. Twilight, um, uh, there's something you ought to know. What is it, Applejack? Well... Frankly, it's the reason Fluttershy and I didn't come with y'all to Canterlot in the first place. Uh, Zakor and I stumbled upon a bit of a dragon fiasco just outside Ponyville. Three smaller looking dragons were tearing the forest apart, darn near scared Fluttershy to death. Dragons? Were they my size? No, they were a bit bigger than you, Spack. I'd say about three pony legs. In Ponyville? No, no. They were still in the Everfree Forest, but with the rate they were knocking them trees down, they would have gotten to Ponyville lickety-split. How dreadful. It was. So you showed him who's boss, right, Fluttershy? I... well, um... no, not exactly. We wrestled him up quick as we could and trapped him in a cave. Zakor's keeping an eye on him for us till we get back. I'm so sorry, Twy. I know the last thing you need is more problems to face, but... I figured you ought to know what might be waiting for us. Ugh. Well, I, for one, am not going near any locked-up dragons. Smallish or not, that's just asking for trouble. <sighs> Trixie? She's gonna get her just desserts for doing this to you, Twy. No pony's gonna let her off the hook this time. Did the pony say desserts? Ooh, I can really go for some cherry chongos right about now. Remember those, Rarity? Chimichurri, cherry chonga, chimichurri. Pinky, please. The best thing I can think to do would be to get back to the library, break this spell, and then go and check on the situation in the Everfree Forest. <laughs> right. About that, I don't actually know exactly how to switch us back. She's joking, right? Tell me she's joking. You lied? No! I just twisted the truth a little. 
There is a way to switch us all back. I just can't do it personally. I know some punny who can. Who? Uh, oh yeah, as if I'll give you an answer just like that. Uh, look, I have something you need, and you have something I need. I need protection, and you need a counterspell. I'll take you to see the pony that can help you if you make me a promise first. What promise? You have to promise to let me go. When everything is over, I will walk away, and you ponies will never hear from me again. Deal? Oh yeah, like we haven't heard that before. Twilight, you can't even be considering this, right? She's a liar. Who knows if she's even telling the truth about this stranger pony. Can't trust her as far as you can toss her. This whole mess was her fault in the first place. I'm part of this conversation too. Come oh, on, oh, 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 are you Deal. What? what? Are you? Wait, no. Oh. But Twilight. But that's only if you make good on your promise to change us back. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just so we're clear, you protect me. I'll lead you to this certain pony, and then you let me go free. Twilight, darling, please reconsider. I. Hey, happy pony of luck! We're home! Ooh, and all the pony villas come here to greet us! All of those bright and frantic looking faces! Do you think maybe this is a welcome home party? I don't think they're here to party, Pinky. Looks like every pony is upset about something. Step aside, peasants. Let the true leader among us handle this. Ahem. Hello, Ponyville! Your beloved princess has returned. Princess Twilight's here, at last. We shall need your help, and fast. Since you left, things have been strange. Everything's acting deranged. Ponyville needs help! Animals out of control And the weather takes a toll Who can fix this? Twilight, Twilight can. can! Who can help us? Twilight, Twilight will! Ponyville needs help! Since you've been gone we can't control the weather Though it's sunny it was supposed to rain Seriously? And if we cannot manage some cloud cover only some dried plants will remain. Oh, damn! The apple family hasn't fared much better. Mm, nope. And the zap apples never did appear. Plant sights! And without all the zap apple jam earnings, we might not make it through the year. Princess Twilight's here. We can find the glass. We sure need your help. And again, it's best. Since you left things up, we don't have, have a screen. Everything's active. And we can't crusade around They'll make us stay in town Basically it's not safe for us And they put up such a fuss Ponyville needs help Seems there is something that's bothering the animals And they won't come to us when we call Many of our pets have not gone missing Without leaving a single clue at all. Oh no! And the cows are refused to go on milking, so we don't have ingredients we need. What? And without the sales of cakes and pastries, this truly is a dark time indeed. Fret not, Pony Billions. Princess Twilight has returned, and soon everything will all be sorted out. <laughs> No idea. Everything's active. Is any pony even listening to me? Enough. Ugh, I thought I'd 
never get away from those crazy ponies. They just expect me to have all the answers and fix all their petty little problems for them? Hello? I have problems too, you know, and mine just happen to be a little more urgent. You have problems? Okay, we have problems. Happy? I still don't see why we don't just get the gem from the library first and leave the dragons for later. It's not like they're gonna go anywhere. So sorry this is such an inconvenience for you, your highness. But you're the one who said the gem was useless without this mysterious pony of yours. Besides, I'm a little nervous about the dragons making trouble. Uh, Applejack? How big were those dragons again? Not, not because I'm scared or anything. I mean, I am a ferocious dragon myself. Or, well, I was. Oh, you are positively nothing like a ferocious dragon, Spikey Whitey. And we wouldn't have you any other way. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't met another dragon yet that could get the best of me. Unless it's those teeny dragons. I don't want to run into those jerks again. I don't know, Spack. These ones were a mite different looking from any other adolescent dragons I'd ever seen. Ugh! What is with you ponies? Do you just go around looking for giant monsters to fight? Oh, <laughs> we never have to go looking for them. They come looking for us. Like there was this time with the three-headed duck Cerberus, the Hydra, the Minotaur, the Chimera. And suddenly, I'm rethinking this whole protection thing. How protective can you ponies be if you just go waltzing into the Everfree Forest looking for trouble? You're welcome to walk back to Ponyville without us. I should have just gone with the other Earth Pony. Speaking of Fluttershy, do you think she made it back to her cottage okay? That's a pretty safe bet. Did you see how fast she took off when you told her she could go check on her animals? Priceless! And that's without wings, too! Speaking of wings, mine is really hurting. It is broken, you know. I'm in legit pain over here. The sea monster and the cockatrice and the Ursa Minor. Oh, wait, you were here for that one. <laughs> so what exactly is the plan, Twilight? Well, I'd like to get a good look at them first. Ever since Spike had his, uh, rapid aging problem, I set out determined to read everything I could on dragons. It really is a travesty how little ponies know about them. And? And there are a couple of things I can look for, like marks, that can indicate they are under a spell. Maybe they calm down and just want to talk? Yeah, well, my instinct still says Trixie. I don't care what that pony says. Everything that comes out of her mouth is a lie. Well, we'll know soon enough. We're here. Whoa. Well, it looks like they definitely got out. But that's just it. None of these rocks have been moved since we left. That big one there is still blocking the entrance. Are you sure, Applejack? Rocks do tend to look similar. Perhaps they only need to move them ever so slightly. No. When Zakor and I blocked this cave, we made sure there was no getting out without some kind of help. If the darn beasts would have just calmed down to have a proper conversation, we could have all been spared that fiasco. Well, first things first, let's figure out how they got out. Guess there's nothing to do but knock these out of the way and look inside. A little help here, Trixie? <sighs> Fine. Land Sykes! They really are gone! Then there was Gilda. She's a griffin. Plus all those other dragons, and uh, I think that's it. Manticore! Oh, yeah! There was a Manticore! But how did you know that? No! Manticore! <laughs> wants to eat us. No, she's right. Fluttershy's stare. It worked on the critters back at her cottage. 
It'll work on him if we could just get... Spike, get Fluttershy! I'm on it! I hate you. Hello? Zakora? Angel Bunny? I'm back! Is that Fluttershy I hear? It is surely good to see you, my dear. Where is Angel Bunny? Follow me, and you shall see. Cages? Zakora, why are all the animals in cages? I fear much has changed since you last departed. Without these cages, they all would have darted. Angel! Angel? Oh, you're mad at me, aren't you? I've never been away this long before. Won't you come out? Sikora, I've never seen him so upset before. He looks so... scared. Do you think he's forgotten that I look like Applejack? I do not think your appearance is to blame. None of the animals are acting the same. What do you mean? Whenever I try to let them free, all of them panic and flee. And your dear little angel friend would have vanished if he had not been pinned. But that's impossible. Angel has never tried to run away before. Things are indeed looking quite bleak. For now, the cows cannot even speak. What do we do? There is one more thing I think you should try. Perhaps giving them a stare would help them, Fluttershy. What? But the stare is only used in extreme circumstances. I already feel bad for using it on them before. If my suspicions are correct, then your stare would leave no effect. Are you saying it won't work now because they're so different? It would not surprise me to learn that this same anomaly caused the dragons to be so stern. Whatever has caused this calamity could be linked to the forest catastrophe. All right, if you say so. It, it didn't work, just like you said. Oh, Zikora, this is just dreadful. My poor little animals. Fluttershy. Spike, what's wrong? Forest. Dragons missing. Manticore attack. A manticore attack? Are the others okay? Uh, they're trapped by the cave where the dragons used to be. We need you, Fluttershy. You can talk some sense into him. Or use your stare or something. The stare? But Spike, it won't work. None of the animals respond to it anymore. Let us see what we can do. Quickly now, Spike. We will both follow you. Get away, you brute! Run! Over here! Hurry! If we die, I will kill you. <gasps> We're trapped! No, no, there's got to be a way out. Do something! Why don't you try to hoof at it? I ain't going down without a fight. I'm right there with you, AJ. Strike! You ponies go. I'll hold them off. Come on. Up here, every pony. We can't both make it up there. I'll find another way around. No, Applejack, I can stay. I've got magic to protect me. And I've got wings. But you don't know how to fly. Uh, guys, you've got much bigger problems to worry about right now. We're a spike. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> Applejack! Do something! Fluttershy, your stair! Use your stair! I can't! It won't work! What do you mean it won't work? Just try! I'm trying! Perform an age spell? Since when can you do age spells without some kind of amulet? I just told the magic to do something. I had no idea it ended up being an age spell. How did she even learn to do that, Twilight? You couldn't do it when I was last in Ponyville. Twilight! Twilight! Spike, what happened? Are you hurt? Nah, it just knocked me into a tree and I bumped my head. I guess I must have blacked out for a moment. Oh, Spiky Lucky! Trixie, you... You saved my life. Well, I... I needed protection from you ponies, and you wouldn't be very protective if one of you was eaten. I mean, the rest of you would be all mopey and stuff. Ponies owe me for saving your lives. Ha! Huh. It hardly makes up for all the damage you've caused. Ugh, whatever. You still haven't answered my question, Twilight. How did your magic perform an age spell? Well, I have been practicing for a long time. Oh, wait! I know what it is! I'm an alicorn! I must have more power than I thought. Oh, yeah? Well, what if this was all a hoax and Trixie conjured the manicore only to pretend to save us from it? Now, let's not jump to conclusions, y'all. Oh, Applejack, you're hurt. No, it's nothing. I'm fine. Uh, uh. Let me take a look at that friend. This might be a wound that I can mend. Quickly, let us get her back to my place. I'll treat her right away, just in case. Don't worry, Applejack. We got ya. Thanks, girls. Ugh. Are you sure you can make it? can do it. With your help, of course. I'm so sorry, Applejack. I never meant for any of my friends to get hurt. We faced much worse in the past. Rummaging for answers in the pages. We've always come through.
I swear, if you've been setting me up, I'm gonna... Setting who up? What are you talking about? The pony who really started all this mess. Estelle. Mm-hmm. <laughs>